Hey there and welcome to a new video. In today's video, we will solve an intermediate level SQL interview question. So first let us go through the question. So we are supposed to calculate the average review rating and total number of review for each product. And the second thing that we have to calculate will be the total sales amount for each product from the sales data. And third thing, identify the top three performing product based on total sales amount and then average rating and total review and this three calculated column we have to consider and calculate the top three performing products then we have to include only product with an average rating of four or higher review in the final result and finally when we display the result we should be having product id average rating total review total sales amount and rank so these are the final five column which we require in our output. For that, we have created a table called as product underscore review. Let us query the table and see what is the schema. So here is the table with product ID, review ID, review rating and sales amount. So these are the four columns which are available. Now we have to calculate average review rating, total number of review, then total sales for each product. And then based on that, we have to find the top three performing product depending upon total sales, average rating and total review. So this is the first step. Then going forward, we will modify the query to include the following conditions as well. So the expected output I have created in Excel. Let us take a look at that. So here is the expected output. This is the same input table which we now saw in SSMS and the output table contain product ID, average rating, total review, total sales amount and rank. Also, the further conditions are also satisfied here, which are in the final result, we only require product ID whose average rating should be greater than or equal to four. That is the first condition. So here we can see that all the average rating is greater than or equal to four. And one condition is negated here, and that is not considered in the expected output. But in our final result, we will be considering that also. So that will be the top three performing product. So in our final result, we only will be having product which are the top three performing product. That is, we will introduce a new filter based on the rank column and we will only have rank one, two and three in our final result along with the corresponding product ID, average rating, total review and total sales amount. So that is how we are planning to write the query and get the output. Now going back to SSMS, we will start writing query for the same. So the first thing that we have to calculate will be the average review rating and total number of review for each product. For that, so we will make use of the same set of clause and instead of star, here we are going to specify the columns. So the first column will be product ID, product ID and now we require the average review. So that will be calculated using average aggregate function and here the column will be review rating, review rating and let us give the column name as average rating. And now the third column which we require will be the total review count with respect to each product. For that we will make use of the count aggregate function and will count the review ID. Review ID open and close parenthesis and this will be review underscore count. That will be the third column. And we will write a group by close based on product ID column. Group by product underscore ID. Before executing the query, we can introduce one more column in the same query that is total sales amount for each product can also be calculated here for that we will make use of sum aggregate function sum of sale amount open close parenthesis and this will be total sales now execute and we will get product id average rating review count and total sales amount execute and we have the result for the first part of this query. Now we will place this query within a CTE with T1 as open close parenthesis. Now we will have to write another select close based on the T1 CTE. Select all column from the T1 CTE from T1. And now we are going to write a rank function or introduce a window function based on the three calculated column that is average rating review count and total sales for that we will make use of rank window function open and close parenthesis and here we are going to write an over close 
here partition is not required because even the result with respect to t1 cte is giving us unique product id as the result so we does not require any partition in the over close for rank so here we will only specify order by that is order by and we have to go back to the question and look at the priority in which we have to consider the column so the first column will be total sales amount so here we have total sales total underscore sales which should be in descending order because highest should be coming at top and second will be average rating here also we should be considering the highest average rating first so the second column will be average rating so here the column name is avg underscore rating which will be in descending order and third column will be obviously review count review underscore count which is also in descending order and we will give the column name as product rank so here one additional new column will be created based on the rank window function so execute and we have an additional column created that is product rank based on the rank window function now going back to the question again there are few more conditions that we should consider in the next part of the query that is include only product with an average rating of 4 or higher in the final result so here we will introduce that where average underscore rating greater than or equal to 4 that is the first condition execute and we will only get product id with an average rating of 4 or above here we have average rating of 2 and once we execute this query this product id will be removed from the result execute and now we only have average rating 4 and all the product id corresponding to that along with review count and total sales now there is one more additional thing we have to consider that is we only require top three performing product so for that we will have to write a top three top three execute and we only have top three product based on the performance considering average rating review count and total sales along with the product rank column now we can see that we only have product rank 1, 2 and 3 in our final result. Now this is the same expected output that we were looking to obtain and the only difference is that the column names which I provided to the final result is a bit different from what is available in the expected output. Other than that we have obtained the same expected output. Let us copy this result and compare with the expected output. Paste it here and we have product ID 105, 102 and 103. Here we only have 1, 2, 3 rank because we only require top 3 performing product. Similarly, we can see that average rating is 4 everywhere. Review count is 5, 3 and 4 for the top 3 product and total sales amount will be 2730 and 680 which is also same. Which is also same. Now we have obtained the expected output. The DDL and DML to create the table will be provided in the description. You can copy it from there. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more. Thank you.